Hello, my name is Adam, and I'm on the Watt team with product owner Mark Finlayson um, and mentor Masood Sujadi. So for this user story, we are making improvements on the Dragnet model. Um, so at first, we wanted to add some features to it, but we quickly noticed that there was a bug in the, the source code that they provided, um, which was um, that in the when they train the model, they grab the data and they split it to training data and testing data. And they, they iterate through the, the input data and um, create this masking uh, list that um, grabs each block of HTML. So every HTML is split into blocks. And if there are less than, less than or equal to three blocks, we don't want to use those blocks for training because um, we can't really get enough features from that uh, that um, that HTML, uh, so we remove it. Um, so this was uh, this was uh, using a NPRA, um, but the issue was that our mask list was a boolean uh, a list of boolean values, and it was actually overriding. Um, so the first object was was overriding every other object in the list. So we were actually, in fact. Um, this data set was only training on one HTML page, which was about a hundred different blocks. So if we went from about, I think maybe there was a thousand HTML page and you can have uh, around a hundred blocks for each one as input uh, uh, data samples, where it went down to about a hundred uh, to train the model with. So we are, we are able to fix this by um, just rewriting the way we, um, we mask it. So we kind of just iterate through it and only append to ones who the training mask gives a Boolean value of true. Um, and that fixed the issue of overriding the data set. So with this, we were able to bring up what they have even published in their paper as 83% to an F1 score of about 89.5%. So this was a pretty dramatic increase, about 6%. Um, and after speaking to Dr. Finlayson, we decided that this is a, a high enough accuracy that we're happy with. So that was pretty much it. We, we trained it um, again. We stored it into a gzip file and we added that to our API. Thank you.